Hello friends, welcome to another educational video from my channel. In this video, we are going to rewire an old electrical panel. In the first step, we remove the old wires from the electrical panel. Stay with me. First, we install new ducts in the electrical panel. Now we install the components inside the electrical panel. First, we put a three-phase miniature switch inside the electrical panel, which turns on and turns off the electricity as the main switch. Next to it, we install a three-phase monitoring relay that protects the electric motors against voltage increase or decrease. We also install a single-phase miniature switch that is used for the control circuit in the electrical panel. This switchboard contains two three-phase electric motors, so two contactors must be installed in the electrical panel. Now we go to the installation of the terminals. First, we install four input terminals, which are three-phase inputs and one null input. Also, each electric motor has three output terminals that we install. Yellow and green terminals are installed for external sensors. Now we start wiring. We connect the wires from the input terminals to the input of the miniature switch.
Then we connect the input wires of the contactors. For two contactors, two wires must come out of each phase. Also, we connect one wire from each phase to the input of the phase controller so that the phases can be controlled by it. And if a problem occurs, the circuit will be cut off. Now we connect the wires to the input of the contactors and the phase controller. Now we connect the output of the contactors to the output terminals.
Now we connect a phase wire to the input of the command switch and connect the output of the command switch to the base 15 of the phase controller. With this, when the command switch is activated, pin 15 is organized and if the phase are all connected, power out of pin 18 and can activate the contactor. The coil of the contactor as well as the face controller need a null wire. At this stage we connect the null wire to them. Now we connect the command switch output to pin 15. To disconnect and connect the contactors, we have installed two switches on the door of the electrical panel. The input of the switch is connected to pin 18 of the phase controller and their output is connected to the coil of the contactors. With this, when the switch is turned on, the contactor is activated. At this stage we connected the wires and the wiring is finished. Now we close the door of the ducts. If you like the video please press the like and subscribe button. Goodbye.